Hi everybody, it's Diane. I just wanted to share some note cards with you. This are some note cards from the swap over at yourpaperpantry.ning.com and this is the note card swap that I host. We are to make five note cards and we will get five back. And the theme for June is beachy um, or summer and the sentiment you could do blank or choose yourself whatever you wanted to do so um, I received this is from Jill Morton these are hers and then I'll show you mine as well um, Jill did five different ones you could do them different or you can do them the same and these are so super cute here's one of them she's got a little ice cream cone some bread super cute and the inside it says yummy very cute. Then this one here. Boy, it makes me want a cold drink right now. <laughs> that is so cute. And then she's got this one here. Fish and sailor's hat. And then that's the inside. And this one here. So cute. And then this one is, I think, my favorite. Oh, my gosh, because I love this cute little crab. Look at this crab. He's so cute. And he's got googly eyes. And then it's got an epoxy sticker here. Very cute. Love that. And see, the inside is like this. Very cute. And then Jill sent me a hostess gift, which was so, so nice, Jill. Thank you so very much. That was so sweet. And I have to show you this bag that it was sent in. Isn't that cute? Um, and then here's the back. And it was so funny because I couldn't figure out how to open it without ruining the bag. Um, I still can't figure that out, how she did that. It's just so cute. So anyway, I had to rip the back here, the top part. But, um, you know, me and bags and things, this would have been a gift in itself. I just love it. And I will reuse that somehow. Thank you so much. And so inside, look at this beautiful, beautiful eyelet ribbon, uh, lace. Isn't that beautiful? It is so pretty. And then she made this stick pin. Very cute. And then she's got some tags in here for me to use. And look at this beautiful tag that she um, put the lace on. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. And then she wrote a little note on the back for me, thanking me for hosting. Um, thank you so very much. That was so thoughtful. And thank you so much for joining the swap. Um, I love your cards. Super, super cute. And then I'll show you mine. Um, I did mine pretty much all the same. And I'll show you what I did. I'll show you the card first. This is the card. And it's a beach scene. And um, what I did was I did my famous, uh, well, I'm about famous, but my my um, napkin technique with my decoupage. These are the napkins that I used. And I got these napkins in um, TJ Maxx, and they were $1.49. They only had this one pack, and I have searched and searched for the last two months and cannot find them anywhere else. Um, so I guess I was really um, lucky to get this one pack <laughs> um, at TJ Maxx, and I did get them, I think, like two months ago. So anyway, I only got a couple left. Um, so I guess I'll be hoarding these because I really, really love them. The great thing about these is I already peeled off the um, the other two layers uh, because I do peel them off when I use them. But let me show you. You get four, for the, for the note card, you get four different um, scenes you can use from using the... Um, from the napkin. So I really love that because it's a cheap way um, to get paper. So those were my napkins and I'll show you what I did. Let me show you again. I decoupaged the napkin on a piece of um, card stock and then I adhered it. Um, once I was done embellishing it, then I adhered it to my note card. And then I lined the inside with a piece of white card stock to write on. And then let me show you the back before I forget. I stamped 
this cute little stamp handmade by Diane and I love that stamp thank you Roxy Roxy who is Roxy Fur here on YouTube she sent that to me as a hostess gift last month with the note cards and oh my gosh I love this stamp I love it thanks so much Roxy okay so let me show you what I used I have a little bird seagull up here and this seagull is made from Philo they said I bought it at a um, fair which was and I'll show you it was a bead show actually and they came on a strand and I wish I would have gotten more but um, my mother-in-law got a strand and I got a strand and that was the last of them so they are really really cute and I really want to make some stick pins with them as well but they are really super cute let me see if I can get one here and show you that's the seagull. Really super cute. I only got a few left. Um, so I guess I'll be hoarding those as well. And then I used this um, little this little stuff to make sand on here. So I put that on there with some crystal um, accents. And then I had these little shells. And I put a little shell, seashell on there as well. You can't really see the sand that well, the dimension of it. There you go. Maybe that's better. And then there's the seagull. But um, I had gotten this bag of shells, this bag, oh my gosh, this huge bag of shells at um, Habitat for Humanity store, and I paid $1.25. This is like a huge bag full. And let me show you this, because I bought these little shells probably, I don't know, I want to say maybe, oh, it's got to be probably 8, 10 years ago, I don't know and a little thing of shells and back then they were 275 for this little teeny tiny bottle and actually I wound up using a couple from here but the rest from the other ones from that big bag and then what I'll do is I need these little baggies up and I'm going to share these with the girls that joined the swap this month so they'll each get a baggie of those and um I guess that's about it. I did make my envelopes with my little envelope punch. Um, I just love that little envelope punch. And I put some sticky tape up here. And they fit in there. I made sure that they fit. And that's it. So I hope you like my cards. Um, appreciate you watching. And thank you, Jill. Your cards are super, super cute. And when I get more, I will um, share the rest of them when I get them in. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And ta-ta for now.